It's also a broadcaster's dream to be part of the Olympic Games. Now, just seconds away. We fought till the finish to get into the Olympics and that was our only focus. We weren't focused on the Olympics or how we perform in the Olympics. It was like, we need to get to the Olympics. That was our goal. Dane and I, from the very, very beginning, we were set out to have the full Olympic experience. And it was just exciting to be amongst the best in the world at whatever sport they played. I didn't know what they played, but I knew they had to have similar experiences that I had to get there. It was awesome being in that environment of the village, going to the opening ceremony. Some people don't go to the opening ceremonies because they have a match the next day when the competition starts. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to play at a high level, but we knew that it was gonna take one match at a time and one point at a time. Continues. The sports of the first week wind down and week two rolls on. In beach volleyball, Americans Dane Blanton and Eric Fanoimoana, the number nine seed. We didn't care what we were seeded. They seeded us ninth, which didn't give us much of a chance. And most people, you shouldn't give us much of a chance. We had never won an international tournament. Our goal was, hey, let's, let's finish in the top three. Let's bring home a medal. Gold, silver, bronze, doesn't matter. Let's just bring home a medal. And that was our focus. Let's play one point at a time and somehow contribute to the U.S. medal count. We kept it in perspective, one at a time. We didn't care what our expectations were externally from other people. We always focused on playing as best we could. And from there, the winning would take care of itself. We need to beat Germany to move on. If you won that first match, you got into the top 16. You don't win that match. We are going to put ourselves in a bad position to move forward. We, we played at a really high level, and I think that first match against Germany really set the tone. I think the Olympics are all about making big plays, and Dane made them today, and thank God he's on my team. Uh, go USA, and thanks a lot for all your support. Going up against the United States in the quarterfinal was interesting because we were playing Rob Hyger and Kevin Wong. They were the number one team, Dane and I were the number two team. We wanted to make a statement that Dane and Eric are for real and maybe you guys should have focused on us before we beat the Americans. That may have been the most efficient match that Eric and I ever played on a beach volleyball court. Okay, now we're one game away from accomplishing that goal of bringing home some jewelry. This team had finished fourth place in the 1996 Olympics. It was a battle. After playing for a complete hour, I think, a little over an hour, the score was 10-all. For this to be 10-all in a game to 15, after an hour, you can imagine a lot of siding out going on. Serve, side out, serve, side out. It just kept going. And I know Eric was getting tired, I know I was getting tired, but he was getting a lot more serves, and they were sticking to that game plan. And uh, after being deadlocked at 10 all for such a long time, I think it was close to 20 side outs, they finally got that 11th point. Oh. <laughs> timeout so we decided to use a timeout at that time. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's humid, I got
sweat coming in my eyes. I can't really see that well. I have to clean out my glasses. And the whistle blows. It wasn't like a, a mishandled set. It wasn't like a, a ball on the line that looked out that might have been in. It was a delay of game call where after an hour of play, everyone was tired. There was no warning. So he says red card, which resulted in a point. So now it's not 11-10, it's 12 to 10. We almost lost our minds and uh, I wanted to pull the guy off the, the, the ref stand. And, and I know Eric, he wanted to kill him, Eric. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just knew that you know we needed to make something happen. So I tried to turn it up a little bit. I decided to serve down the line directly instead of cross court, and that made it 11 to 12. And I remember serving angle and getting an ace serve that hit the line. So now it was 12 to 12. Yeah, there was an ace serve, 15-12 was the final, and now we were going to the gold medal match. And so I just, I think I fell to my knees and threw up my hands in the air, and Eric came up and uh, tackled me. And, you know, we knew we had accomplished that goal of bringing home some jewelry. And uh, now it was really time to reevaluate the goals and uh, get down to business. It was our destiny if we could play to our potential, we could beat anybody. And we knew when our game was on, that top-notch game, if we could bring it to the court, we could beat anybody in the world. If they brought their best game, then it was gonna be a war. They decided that the gold medal match was two out of three to 12, win by one. If we could take that first game, that first, uh, game in a two out of three match, it would put all the pressure in the world on Brazil. Because you gotta understand, Brazil, Zamarco and Ricardo were hands down the best team in the world at the time. They had won six international tournaments and we had won zero. We had played them four previous times that year and they had beat us every single time. I've been walking in the same way. What it came down to, Dana, I was just like, we gotta do now. We were gonna give everything we got and more because there's no reason to save it. So we felt we steal the first game. We put a ton of pressure on them and they're gonna feel it. Our game plan worked, you know, it was more of, we stole the first one, now they're like, oh wait, how did that happen? They got a lot of pressure on them, Dane and I don't have any pressure on us, 
we are up one game. The pressure's all on them. And now this was our match to lose. I like it in the city when two worlds collide. You get the people and the government, everybody taking different sides. Shows that we ain't gonna stand shit Shows that we are united Run my hometown Make memories And he was coming at me with all types of fire His mouth wide open You know, I just stood there frozen And he took me down to the sand And I'll never forget that moment I think that moment really says it all Kind of just hit me that there's no more points to play, there's no more games to win. You know, it's over. We, we did it. You know, we're the last team standing. Oh my world, oh my world, yeah, oh my world. The goal started at age seven, and it didn't finish until I was 31. Yeah.